Okay, cool. So jumping right into the first thing that we're going to make, uh, as you can see here, I have a few materials that you are not going to need because all you're actually going to need is a very basic set of things. This is going to be a really cool way for you to not have to worry about throwing away a respirator or using the same respirator over and over again because you're not wanting to throw throw it away and waste it and then have to buy another one so this would be a cool alternative for a do-it-yourself little face mask respirator thing four pieces uh, pieces that we can 3d print and supply to everybody you can message us for information on how to go about getting some of these you can repeat this as many times as you want using something very simple as a napkin uh, we have these napkins that are not fully squared they can be separated into these little rectangles and I've gotten away with just using a single section of a paper towel starting off all we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a rubber band you can get as creative as you want to and use say like a ponytail but what I have found to be successful is just a rubber band and you basically just snap those rubber bands right into those little teeth and these are basically like Lego pieces. Um, you've got pegs and holes, and they basically just fall right into each other with no problem. So this is all the assembly really that's required until you get to putting the napkin or whatever you choose to use as a respirator, paper towels and things like that work best for this. So what we're gonna do, now that we have the rubber bands in here, we are kind of set for those. So we're gonna take just a regular kitchen napkin and we're gonna take the set of 3D printed pieces that has the three prongs on them we're gonna set them aside. We're gonna take our kitchen napkin. So I'm gonna fold this side to about the middle peg and then I'm gonna fold this one up to where that one was. And after I make that first fold inward, now I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna fold it the length that was left over from the opposite direction. I'm gonna fold it back the other way. Cool, so after one fold in each and then one fold back, each i'm going to take one of the three pronged pieces and put it to the back and i basically just want to make sure that all of the napkin is covering all three of the pegs on the back side of that piece and then after i make sure that i've got all of the napkin on those three pieces i'm going to take this other piece that has the rubber bands on it from earlier so i know i'm going to put it on this way and i'm going to line the holes up with the pegs after i line up the holes with the pegs i'm basically just going to give it a nice little squeeze to score the napkin through it's like pushing a lego brick through a napkin and then i'm going to do the same thing on the other side take the napkin and put the three prongs make sure the napkin is covering all three prongs grab my other rubber band piece and line the holes up with the pegs give it a push you open up the inside like so and now you've got your ear pieces and you've got yourself a respirator sometimes my big beard makes this hard to do with a single napkin but I wanted to show that you could do this with a single napkin pretty neat right whatever you've got around the house that would be disposable it just took a single sheet to do this but anyway the really cool thing about this is after the day is over and you're done wearing your respirator you can simply take these off from around your ears and essentially just unsnap the pieces that you pushed in from before after you get those pieces taken apart you can toss those to the side for the day and take the napkin that you used and throw it away and you're ready to start the next day fresh